So I'm here to help you with identifying action verbs, your assignment for Wednesday. Um, so you'll go to your main page on No Red Ink and you will click on the assignment called Identifying Action Verbs. Now your instructions for class today are that you only need to complete levels one and two. You do not need to finish this assignment. So you're gonna click on Begin. And remember, you can always check the lesson for an overview of information. If you, uh, if you have your notes, you can look at those as well. But always check these lessons because they will give you a heads up as to what you might see while you're doing your practice. So action verbs describe what someone or something does. And you'll notice that you have several example sentences that you can look at. So we're going to go into the practice. And I'm going to do some examples with you. So Mrs. Worrell and her friends cheer for their favorite team. So the question is, what is being done? What is the action in this sentence? And the action is cheer. Mrs. Worrell and her friends are cheering. That is what they are doing. The gym teacher knits Eliza Hamilton amazing sweaters. So again, we're looking at the action of the sentence, what is being done by the subject, and in this case, the action is knits. So that is our verb. Neville Longbottom washes his hands very carefully before bed. That's a Harry Potter character in case you're not sure of who the heck that is. So the action in this sentence, what Neville Longbottom is doing, is washes. That is our verb. And see, it'll pop up and tell you that you've finished level one. Now, if you miss seeing that message, notice up here where we have this blue circle, we have one star that is filled in. That lets you know that you've completed the first level. And when you finish the second level, you'll see the second star gets filled in as well. So I'm going to finish my level two so that you can see my examples if you need them. The chemist scatters confetti on Simba's table. So the action in this sentence is scatters, like he's scattering the confetti all over the place. That's what the chemist is doing. Draco Malfoy sorted the jelly beans by color. Another Harry Potter character, lots of Harry Potter sentences for me. So what is Draco Malfoy doing? He is sorting. So our verb is sorted. Jim Halpert left the time machine in the bathroom. So our verb in this case, the action that Jim Halpert is doing is left. What did he do? He left the time machine there. He put it down and now it's still there. So that is our action verb. Harriet Tubman's book club members always explain the plot of the story to me. So notice our sentence is getting a little bit longer now as we're moving through the practice. But remember, we're still only looking for the action, what is being done by our subjects. So the members explain the plot of the story. So what they're doing is explaining. So explain is our action verb. And notice that it says level two complete. I have my two circles with my two filled in stars. So I am done with my practice for today. We are not moving on to uh, levels three and four yet. We're gonna come back to that tomorrow. So you'll hit exit practice. And when you come back to the assignment, it will tell you level two achieved. So as long as you see that, you will be done with this topic. And you should be around 46%, somewhere between 40 and 50 is usually where you are at the end of level two. Hopefully this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Email me or check in with me in Blackboard.